Hello everybody, this is Richard the Dick Coughlin, Dick Dynasty 666. How are you? Three three videos this week. Three videos, three days in a row. That's worth five dollars a month of anybody's money, isn't it? Patreon below. And I'm not smoking in this video to look hip and cool. I'm smoking it because I want to look more like Davis MJ Orini. Apparently that's what you got to do to be taken seriously and be an intellectual these days. I'm actually smoking a bit more this morning because I've had a bit of, I've had one of those stressful mornings. This is going to be a bit of a rant video, but there's going to be a message in it. There's actually a lesson to be learned. Yes, I'm actually educating you. Yes, it's about time someone on this fucking website made videos that do that, isn't it? And this is about something that I know pisses a lot of people off, and it pisses me off too, but it's something as well that in this case I'm guilty of indulging in too. So this isn't a rant at just me ranting at other people. I'm including myself partially in this as well. You see, racism, as always, is a bit of a hot topic at the moment. A lot of issues floating around. And one of the main ways we communicate our thoughts and feelings these days is through the medium of uh, social media. And specifically, one thing we like to do these days is take Facebook meme photos and and just throw them out there and people look at them and go, yeah, I'll fucking do that, yeah. yeah. And they click and share it and then you spend two and a half minutes looking into it and you realise what this is actually based on is complete and utter fucking horse shit. Now recently, obviously, it's been Thanksgiving in America or as I like to call it, practice Christmas, right? And Thanksgiving is when Americans give thanks for everything they've got and then it's quickly followed by yesterday Black Friday when Americans say fuck that and they're willing to stab motherfuckers in the face for a television. Thanksgiving is also the day that President Barack Obama, the president, has to pardon a turkey. He pardoned a turkey this year, I'm assuming that turkey did something like, I don't know, shot a black kid. But I'll move on from that anyway. Now this is an example, people always go on about how oh god you can't say anything these days about people throwing the word racist around and I can sympathise to that to some extent and I know people accuse me me are the same fucking thing, but the difference is I actually go out to find people who are racist and then I fucking make videos about them. I don't find racism there. I go, I sp I'm trying to be very careful. But I thought I'd start this off just before anyone, because I know some people won't watch to the fully end of this video, so I wanted to just find an example of how someone is finding racism in everything, or finding racism in something where racism isn't there. Earlier on I saw this meme photo that was shared, and I'll, sh I'll leave a copy of it there. This is a photo that was shared on on the Facebook page of R&B singer Tony Braxton, but it's actually been posted around a lot of other fucking places. No, I don't follow Tony Braxton, by the way. That's just on. Forget it now. But as you can see in this meme photo, it's uh, basically she said, "Oh, it's not Black Friday for me," because this meme photo says that the term Black Friday is actually something that comes from slavery, and in slavery years there was a thing called Black Friday when slaves would be on discount. Hooray! Unfortunately, the problem for this is there's absolutely no source for this whatsoever. fucking ever, and this. Got like 38, 40,000 fucking shares on this fuck on this on this. What? It's been spread all over the fucking internet. It's not just her that's guilty of it. But this is there's no evidence whatsoever. The term Black Friday originally was used in like the 19th century to describe a financial crisis. It wasn't even used to describe a day of shopping until the 19 fucking 60s. And there's absolutely no evidence whatsoever of the term Black Friday ever being used in any context to do with slavery. Now, yes, I know it's the white man's media. How can you trust the white man? You you don't have to trust the media, uh, you don't have to trust anybody's media, but if your only source for something is a meme photo that someone knocked up and then posted on the internet, then you're kind of fucking on shaky ground there, aren't you? So no, this is bullshit. If you see this floating around, it's crap. Tell people it's crap, because it's crap. Black Friday has got nothing to do with... It's actually... The term comes from the phrase, in the black, which is actually a positive thing when people make lots of money, when businesses tend to turn over a massive profit because people are willing to literally garrote someone with a cheese wire because they want a PS4. But it seems that this is the way that this works these days. All you got to do is get someone, get a celebrity or a historical figure, put a quote next to the fucker, and people go, oh, yeah, and they fucking post it. It's Good example, I saw one the other day of Russell Brand. There's a photo of Russell Brand with a quote next to it. I looked it up, the quote is originally attributed to fucking Jesus. Jesus! Right. There's other people historically who have said it. Gandhi was another one. There's another one of David Attenborough in which he's talking about I've seen many vicious animals in my time, but I have seen no animal more vicious than an Israeli. He never fucking said it. I don't care how much you love Russell Brand or how much you fucking hate Israel, you can't go around attributing quotes to people that are borderline racist or in any way messianic and just expect everyone else to fucking swallow it. It's fucking bullshit. And more than that, who gives a fuck what David Attenborough 
Oprah has to say on any issue other than fucking animals and a gorilla that's sitting behind him. And I can handle it when it's something funny. If someone gets a picture of Abraham Lincoln and puts the quote, anything's a dildo if you try hard enough next to it, I can laugh at that, because obviously no one's going to believe that. Well, I say no one, this is the internet. But the fact of the matter is, it, 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 there, there are issues when it gets into a sensitive area where it just starts to piss me off. Now, an example of this would be the recent problems that have been in Ferguson, in Ferguson, Missouri, where uh, Michael Brown was shot by Officer Wasty's face, Wilson something or other. And this has just resulted in a hell of a lot of people on Facebook sitting there giving their opinions and they, well, what they think is going on here. Right? Now, I'm going to just a couple of them now and just show you the fucking problem we have going on here. This is the first one. This is an argument you see a lot of people make and this is a photo that I've seen going around as well. If you don't, if you don't want to, if you don't want to get shot, don't attack policemen. Because it's that fucking simple, isn't it? I'm sorry. I don't care if he did. I don't know the full details, so I'm not getting into that. But I'm going to say, yeah, okay, he attacked a policeman. Are you telling me that American policemen are so inept at self-defense, the only way they can fend off an attacker is by shooting them a dozen times? Was that 12-year-old lad who got shot, who had a toy gun, was he attacking a policeman? If you're, Can he not do something else? Can he not, I don't know, take him down, maybe? Could he not punch him? Could he not give him a few... Is he not able to do this? Is he incapable of doing this? Right. Could he not have shot him three times? Once? Maybe in the kneecaps? Just shoot him in his frigging legs. I'm pretty sure whatever bad things Michael Brown d did, he'd much rather face the consequences of them whilst being alive and not having kneecaps. I mean, Christ's sake, in this country, do you think police officers don't get attacked in Britain? Right? They don't have to resort. They don't have fucking guns! There are, there are countries all over the world where police get attacked and somehow they manage not to resort to shooting someone first off. That's the first port of call. No. But then we get onto this fucking issue that's really pissing me off, which is the people who are just patronisingly sat there looking at the things that are going on in Ferguson and making stupid statements that they know nothing about and they clearly, are, they've never, they haven't even thought it through. They just sat there in their nice little comfortable uh, urban area, suburban area where they've just posted, and they post a photo, a meme on photo because they're oh so very fucking enlightened. Now one of the things that got posted was this. As you can see, top picture of Martin Luther King, other bot pictures there saying, right, and it says, I can respect this, not this, not this. Right, making a comparison to the civil rights movement to the way people behave now. Now, first off, let's ignore the fact that during the civil rights movement there were shitloads of fucking riots. There was craploads of fucking, there, there was just loads of fucking riots going on. Let's ignore that fact shall we? Let, let, let's ignore that. Let's also ignore the fact that there are peaceful protests and there have been plenty of peaceful protesters in Ferguson, Missouri. Let's ignore that. Let's also ignore the fact that Martin Luther King said, and I quote, of people who were rioting and smashing stuff up, maybe stop oppressing us on a daily basis and inflicting violence with impunity, then we can start talking about not breaking your shiny things. Let's ignore that, shall we? You have to ask yourself this one question. Here's a picture that's been going round. It's a picture of some black guys, as you can see, in Ferguson, Missouri, riding round the town in a, what looks to be a life-size model of Thomas the Tank Engine. This actually is this, right? This is what's known as the Peace Bus. They're going round and they're just blasting Marvin Gaye songs out. Right? They're just driving around trying to make a peaceful bit of civil disobedience, letting their message heard, and they're doing it in a light-hearted and gimmicky way. And you'd think, hey, we can get behind that, can't we? We can get behind that idea, can't we? Let me ask you this. What happened to Martin Luther King? Oh, he got shot, didn't he? He got shot. So it doesn't matter if you're a rioter. It doesn't matter if you're, uh, if you're a looter. It doesn't matter if you're a 12-year-old kid with a gun. It doesn't matter if you're unarmed. It doesn't matter if you're Martin Luther pissing king. You're going to get shot. And what do they get if they don't go around and loot and riot? What do they get for that? Well, according to this, they get your respect. I got a funny feeling these guys could give a flying bolt of cock snot out of a dead donkey's dick about your fucking respect. Um, because apparently you haven't been giving them any either. There's this idea 
hear that people sit there and they go, oh, 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 look, you know, these people, they're, they're rioting in their own community. What do you want them to do? Get a fucking minibus and travel somewhere else and smash that up? But I love this idea that this is all imaginary. It's all in their head. They're going, oh, this is all mad. We're not racist. We're not racist at all. This isn't, this country's not racist anymore. Right, so what you're saying is black people just love rioting for the sake of it. Boy, that doesn't sound a little bit racist, does it? Right, well, let me tell you why this whole thing about peaceful protest is a bit stupid. Right, let's go back to this peace bus again. Remember the peace bus? I told you about that about two minutes ago. How is this being shared around? And I am guilty of this, and I want to make it clear. I deleted the post when I shared it, right, and I apologise forthwith for doing so. How was this being promoted. How did this, did this image go viral? Oh yeah, it's looters steal fucking t steal life-size Thomas the Tank Engine from a mall and drive it around. So even the people who are peaceful, who are doing peaceful protests, are being portrayed as fucking looters. So now do you realise why this is important? Do you realise how fucking stupid you are? Right, for sitting there judging these people as if you understand or know what it means. As if you could sit there and go, well, you shouldn't attack the police. Oh, you're smashing up your own downfall. Well, this isn't going to do it. Why can't they just be peaceful? Because no one fucking listens, even when they are peaceful. They just turn it into some funny photo. Right? And this is the dumb thing, right? This is, this is basic propaganda, but it's not government propaganda or media propaganda. That's what the case used to be. The case used to be, oh, propaganda was something that was done by the media and the government. Not any fucking more though. Now all you need is a bigot who's got an agenda and has got fucking Photoshop, or if he's a tight ass and doesn't want to pay anything, the latest edition of GIMP, and you need a bunch of gullible, naive fucking wallies on Facebook who are going to share it because it fits into their preconceived notion of what they think reality is. And we need to stop doing this, and I'm talking to myself as well. Before you share anything, before you spread anything, right, stop and think. Because if you do, if you share shit like this, and you don't fucking check if it's real. Um, don't come crying to me next time Fox News fucking say something that's not true. Or anyone else comes and forward and says something that's not true. Don't complain about other people's propaganda when you're no better, when you're part of the fucking problem. Richard the Dick Coughlin, Dick Dynasty 666, good night, may God be less.